Hi there, my name is Annette with Sunbeam Fabric Art. Welcome to my channel. Hey, today I want to talk to you about making my own pre-cuts. Now, I love pre-cuts. I love working with layer cakes, charm packs, all of the pre-cuts. They are so fun to work with. You get a lot of different colors and they all match each other. That's pretty cool. Um, but sometimes it's nice to save a little money because they can get very pricey. So today I'm going to take you through how I cut up a couple of bolts of fabric into pre-cut sizes. So come along with me and I will show you what I did. What you see here is a 10 yard bolt of Kona White and a 10 yard bolt of Kona Black. I got these high quality Kona fabrics on sale for $55 for each bolt. And I had also picked up a three yard cut of that same Kona White for about $10. I did a little bit of pressing to get major creases out. I started with my three yard cut. I thought that would be easy to work with. And I simply started cutting out 10 inch squares. Now there are four 10 inch squares in that cut I just made. And I am starting a tally mark up on my board. I made one tally mark for four with my dry erase marker. And every time I finished four, I took my little dry erase marker and I marked up that tally to keep track of how many I was making. One thing you might notice, I'm not really trying to line up selvage edges or anything. I am trying to get my 10 inch square as close to the fold as I can get it. Uh, but I know that I'm going to use any reusable uh, cast offs or side cuts. I'm going to save those and I'm going to be using them. Here's a quick look at my tally. So I got 40 individual 10 inch squares, which is almost an entire layer cake for $10. Working with that three yard cut was pretty easy. I highly recommend it. Now to work with a 10 yard bolt, that's a little more challenging. For this 10 yard bolt of white and then also for the 10 yard bolt of black, I'm utilizing my Stripology XL ruler. Um, it's just a tool I have on hand. You don't have to have this ruler, but if you do, it can make things a little bit easier. After trying a couple of different ways out uh, to get this fabric cut up, I mean 10 yards is so much. I ended up unrolling the whole thing and piling it up on top of my sewing machine. You can see over there to the right. And then I would just pull down a little bit at a time and cut two sections off and then square them up and then move on to another piece. And I found it was easy to turn the mat rectangle and then upright, so landscape and then portrait, it just made it easier. I didn't have to move my fabric, I just moved my mat to make the second, I'm sorry, the third and the fourth cuts. Well, I cut the whole 10 yards of white also into 10 inch squares, and you can see here how many I got. I cut 36 stacks of four 10 inch squares, which means I ended up with 144, which is about the equivalent of three and a half almost, layer cakes. So um, for $55, I got approximately three and a half layer cakes. I'm not going to show you the entire process of cutting up the 10 yard black bolt, but here is the result. I got a number of 10 inch squares. I got a number of jelly roll strips, two and a half inch strips, and some charm packs. So I got almost one charm pack. I got a little bit more than a jelly roll, and I got the equivalent of two layer cakes. And I got all this for $55. Hey, I wanna thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you like my content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and then click that bell icon to get your notifications when I post new content. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back again real soon.